constant rotation, it's all about the wrist. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, your Thor, he's uh, returning to the Star Trek franchise, the newer Star Trek. Um, well, I guess the only current Star Trek. But he's returning to the Star Trek franchise as George Kirk for Star Trek Discovery. Uh, speaking with MTV, the Thor actor said that he's spoken to J.J. Abrams, who has an amazing pitch for him. Um, that's all there is on that. But, not cool. I mean, I don't... Um, yeah, I, I think we reported on this not too long ago, actually. Um, and I remember when it initially came out, fucking... What was it? Abrams, this exact same thing came out. So I don't know if this is a story from a while ago that it got researched. Yeah, maybe, it was maybe there was an update or something. It's more definitive. Maybe they struck a deal, which is uh, even more exciting. Uh, which only brings in... I think they do time travel well in those movies. So Absolutely. I'm pretty excited to see what they do. Mm -hmm. um, let us know in the comments, though. Chris Hemsworth, is he is he even suited to come... Like, it's not like Beyond really was servicing the whole point of him coming back. That wasn't even mentioned. So, like, this is all news to the franchise itself. So, what do you think that'll be the storyline that we have at hand? Uh, let us know in the comments. And, as well, tweet at us. And yeah. we have an email, uh, after the previews at gmail.com. So, please, send in anything that you have to say about the show. Or, if you just have questions that you want us to read on the air, we will, if we get enough, we'll start doing the mailbag and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And questions that they just want to know about just movies or whatever. But yeah, let us know. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, he's coming back. Wait, what's it called? Star Trek? Star Trek Discovery. Wait, what? Is that the... Is that... Is Star Trek... Oh, dude, Star Trek Discovery is the TV series. That's what, what? So, the TV series does connect? I thought Discovery was the next movie. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, hold on, let's figure this out. Star Trek Discovery is the animated te American television series. Yeah, what man. Fuck? That's crazy. So, this shit's been under a lot of turmoil. Uh, this changes the whole dynamic of what we just talked about. Yeah, seriously. Um, so, this TV series, basically, if he appears in it, then that means that he is basically the connecting thread to the movie franchise. I don't suspect that he's going to be the main character. But I could see him popping up in the first episode, then mention that he's the captain of the Enterprise. Yeah. That's it. Maybe they even see the him. Enterprise, the, uh, the Kelvin. Yeah, the Kelvin, sorry. Yeah. And then you see him maybe even go off on that last uh, voyage before you see uh, all that shit. Yeah, that could be. You know what I mean? Maybe that could be. That's the, how they uh, canonize this TV yeah, show. That's why cool. this show has been uh, the guy from Hannibal, the showrunner from that, joined on. He left. Uh, no one wants to be touching this right now. It's been delayed three times. Uh, Fuller was attached. That's the guy. And Kirksman, they both have kind of just dipped out. Um, wow. I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. Apparently, yeah, so it begins shooting on January 24th. So that's pretty much why all this is coming out. So uh, look okay. out for that. At least they're going into production. There's been a few other castings rumbling in the TV world that I've heard on various uh, TV outlets. Yeah. So uh, we got Klingons cast. We can only be excited for it, but I just want to put everyone's perspective in play. Brian Fuller is the biggest, and I repeat, the biggest Star Trek fan. Huge, fucking large, 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 giant, 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 giant Star Trek fan. And if he's going to be leaving this, it's for a reason. Yeah. And I don't know if it's scheduling conflicts, but man, oh man, oh man. I think there's that's, something that's going scary. on. That's scary. Yeah, it is. And it's CBS All Access, so you Ooh, have to pay that's, that's scary on top too. of the television that you already fucking watch on everyday CBS. You have to pay on top of that for like a subscription Netflix series, uh, Netflix subscription model type thing yeah. to watch it. So that's going to... Shot that's weird. weird anyways uh, but, oh you have some cast yeah yeah we got this some this cast for uh, Star Trek Discovery which I thought was the next movie that makes sense though. yeah this changes things so Chris Obi Shazad Latif uh, and a stage actress named Mary Chifo they've been cast respectively as this is our first television breakthrough on yeah <laughs> yeah this is yeah, probably going to be one of the few because honestly yeah. I thought this was movie news it, yeah. it, it can't you it know what? it is movie news because it ties into the fact that Chris Hemsworth is also going to be in the next Star Trek movie so true. if you're going to see him be in the series, then it also will just flow maybe nicely into the Maybe the next movie, movie has Klingons in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man. I want Klingons. Right? I do want Klingons. That's what I, I've been I waiting think to it's see. Time. Yeah, I've been waiting to see Klingons since the first one. It's time. So anyway, yeah, Chris Obi, Shazad Latif, and Mary Chifo, they've been cast respectively as Takuvma, Takuvma, I don't know, a Klingon leader. 
Cole, a commanding officer who will probably be looking up to Tacovna, mm -hmm. and finally Lorel, a Klingon battle deck commander. So that's cool. They're they're keeping up with the strong female characters in. The, I, I guess that's. I mean, that's a buzzword now at this point. Strong, strong female. Yeah, character. that's a buzz yeah. phrase now. But I like that they're. I like that they are. You know that they're putting one in there. They're not ignoring the. Definitely. They're not ignoring the public out for cry for female representation in media, which and is good. I appreciate you bringing that up actually, because that that does add some perspective and maybe to the direction that the TV series is going into. Because other than that, all we've heard is just bad shit about people leaving, about people like delaying this production and mm -hmm. shit. So if Fuller left because. Th he got word from everyone else saying that the writing wasn't ready or something. But if you're at the show running side of things, you already know what the, the story is like. And if he has another show, maybe they had to shoot in February and couldn't shoot at this January 24th date. Then if that's the reason they had to leave, then I'm being a pessimist. But I believe that there's more going on here. But I'm happy that they're getting something out there. And some this, this boat is finally going, man. Yeah. So let's see where it fucking travels to. Yeah.